What's going on everybody, Apex Pure here, and welcome back to another episode of Madden 18's Long Shot. Let's get right to it. Yo D-Man, you ready? Wait, what's up man? Hey, what's going on? I gotta finish this, guys. Not anymore, you don't. We're busting you out of here. Like I said, man, I gotta finish. I can't do it. <laughs> I'll tell you, boss, you were here till midnight. <laughs> Besides, my son's squeezing his slim fit dresser for nothing. It's my thyroid. Thyroid's a 36 pack of donuts. You're just jealous. This is what a real man looks like. <laughs> hey, Dev, ceremony starts in 45 minutes and everyone's gonna be there. I know, man. I, I just can't. Can't. Everyone put this together because you're in town. I, I didn't ask him to. You all right, man? The coke going? Hell, yeah, man, we ain't enough. Come on, D, let's roll. Fine. We ain't leaving here without you. Fellas, come on. Yeah. Just go to the ceremony. Yeah! Oh! Look alive, boys. <sighs> Sorry I'm late. Hope you got an extra shovel for me. some extra strength in this one. It being retired and all. <laughs> Thanks for coming. I, I didn't think you would. Come on, man. You're my best friend. All right, you boys gonna slow dance or we gonna finish this thing? <laughs> Sunset and we got about 35 minutes to the ceremony. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> all, right, all right, you heard the man. Come on, ah. thing weighs a pound. Come on, man. <sighs> one pound? Come on, Muggs. I got a one bad pound. thyroid, man. You lift yourself all around all day. Come on, man. That should be easy for you. I don't you. even think you know what a thyroid is. Yeah, it's right here, man. That's I, your thigh. I'm going to kick you right in the thyroid. You keep lipping off. We're in the Sam Hill of your den. Sorry, Coach. I had to get Devin. Well, where'd you get him in a coal mine? <laughs> that gummit! I had those jerseys dry clean special. No, that's my bad, Coach. But maybe no one will notice. Well, they're not blind. Boy, sometimes I think that you have a twenty dollar Stetson on top of a nickel noggin. Come on, line up here. Let's go. They're gonna call you in one at a time. Hey, you, 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 stay back. It's all uh, alphabetical order. Been doing rolling around the pig pen? Yeah, sorry, Coach. I must have brushed up against a dirty truck or something. Oh, don't turn into cold, Tony. <laughs> sure thing, Coach. I wish your daddy was here to witness this. Yeah, me too. You know, he always said, football's family. Here we are. Yeah. And record holder in every class category, the star of the hit show long show. Ladies and gentlemen, That's going to raise us a lot of funds. Go in there and save our team. Bring it back to us. Son. <laughs> you got it, Coach. Oh, I love that boy. <laughs> Hey, you want another one? Nah, man, one's all I can take. All right. Suit yourself. <laughs> man, I never had a night like that. Never had a day like that either. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm grateful for all of it. Cheers, man. Cheers, brother. <laughs> Julia, what are you doing here? Drove down. I've been trying to get a hold of you for days. Yeah, well, <clears throat> Devin's not coming back to the show. Wait, are you? 
Look, I understand why you left. But if you come back now, there's still time to get the show back on track. <laughs> no, no way. Not with Fountain still there. I got this, man. Sorry. If we work together, we can get the show away from Ross. And what about the Legends game? It'll be at the end of the season where it should have been all along. Maybe the two of us, though, right? Yes. Yeah, then I'll do it. Yeah, well, I will only come back on one condition. Hmm. And when we get back to Austin, you and I go get dinner together. Just the two of us. <laughs> what do you say? Absolutely not. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. <laughs> I'm still in for the show, though. <laughs> hey. All right, well, I guess we'll see you back in Austin. Um, you think that old Junker will make it there? I'm searching on it. <laughs> oh. I sound pretty good with that accent, don't I? <laughs> Crazy, man. Yep, I call this puppy Old Faithful. <laughs> Never let me down. Come on, Deb, we ain't got all night, baby. I'm coming, I'm coming. <laughs> Coach? Devin. Uh, come on in. I wanted uh, to talk with you before we met with the execs. Right. Coach, I, I just, just wanted, wanted to, to say, say that... I'm sorry. Uh, I'll go. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to apologize uh, for leaving. I never should have left. So, I'm sorry. Have a seat. Yeah, Coach. You know, when you got here, I, uh, I asked why you were on long shot. Yeah. <laughs> I never gave you an answer. Well, it's because it's a difficult question. You ever wonder why I was here? Uh, guess not. Well, you know, I was fired by St. Louis, right? Well, years ago, I fought to draft as junior quarterback. This, this kid had all the talent in the world. He talked to Brass and the trading up to get him second overall. Expectations were sky high. <laughs> My career hung in the balance. Mm. Well, I rushed this kid every step of the way. And in my offense, which is predicated on empty backfields, no extra protection, he was a sitting duck. I mean, heck, our favorite play was the deep dig. Uh, when he got... when he got hurt week one, I hurried him back, and... it was all because I had to succeed. I never said this out loud, but what I did... that was abuse. Within two years, no team would touch that kid. He was out of the league. Rams fired me. And I told myself that it was because I chose the wrong guy, but the truth is, I was the wrong guy. A kid, he deserved better. Look, I came on this show to resurrect my career, to show everybody that the great Jack Ford was back. But a coach's job is to serve his players, and I violated that. I should have been there for you. I just, I hope that you'll give me another chance, because I'm now ready to do whatever it takes for you to succeed. That is my lone goal going forward. Wow. I really appreciate that, Coach. You guys ready? Yeah. Let's get to work. Treated <laughs> <laughs> everybody like garbage. You don't you even know, know what position it. to Enough. take. Enough. Sir, if I could just <laughs> say. Oh, no, 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 no. No. From my perspective, 
two things happen. One, Ross, your on-camera behavior was appalling, and not in a fun way, all right? Two, Devin chose to take a leave of absence, putting the show at risk. Two wrongs, neither right. We all have our reasons, yeah? I've been in this business for a very long time, and what I've learned is that there's always room for forgiveness. So it seems like we have two options. Put Julia in charge of Longshot and reassign Ross. Sir, thank you, uh, I... No, 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 no. Or we just fire Ross outright. The ratings have mm. been through... No, no, no. I've been sitting here listening to what everybody has to say. The only person I haven't heard from is Devin. Superstar, what's it gonna be? Devin, Devin, Devin. I took you off the scrap heap, okay? It's because of me. Every scout out there knows your name. All along, I've been the ally that you never knew you had. Devin, I know what the coaches want, and you don't owe Ross anything. These guys may know the coaches, but I know the owners. Owners? It will matter if he makes you look like a distraction instead of the talent that you are. Devin, Devin, please, 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 please. I'm begging you, please. I have a house. I have uh, children, ex-wives. Ross did create this opportunity. Exactly, exactly. So what I'm hearing is that Julia is the problem. Julia is my biggest supporter. Right, no, no, exactly, right. So we should just dump Jack Ford. Jack's my coach. What a nice moment for you, Jack. I'm gonna let you have it. Ross, if you have any interest in remaining with this organization, and let me tell you, you are pushing it. You'd be wise to zip it now. Yes, sir, Mr. Broad, sir. Julia, congratulations. You're the new executive producer of Longshot. Jack, you are Julia's first choice, and now you're mine, babe. Mm -hmm. I'm putting Ross in an advisory role to Longshot, answering to Julia, and if anybody, has any issue with this decision, I kindly invite you to gather your things and watch your tuckus on the way out the door. Uh, Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Stay out of my way. Congratulations. Jack. Coach, good work. Thanks, Coach. Mr. Bright. <laughs> Thank you. My pleasure. Sir, you won't regret it. No, I doubt I will. Thank you. Hey, you ready for me, coach? Yeah, give me a sec. Cool. Jack, am I too early? Oh, right on time, Dan. Devin, I want you to meet my good friend, Dan Marino. Oh, man, it's a thrill to meet you. Now, my, my dad was a huge fan. He said if we hadn't been from Texas, you would have been his favorite player. So who beat me out? Uh, Warren Moon. <laughs> you know, the Oilers been so close to Mathis and all. Well, I can't argue with that one. <laughs> you know, Danny's one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time. And he's got a lot of things he wants to share with you. Mm -hmm. I'll see you guys later. Yeah. Let's go. I'll get you to take a lap. All right. That's cool. So what happened next? So we're down 18, late in the third quarter. Got the guys in the huddle. I told them we're going to throw the ball on every play until we win the game. So what happened? You ever heard of fake spike? <laughs> So we got back to within three on the Jets' nine-yard line. 22 seconds left. Defense screws up. I fake the spike. We win the game. Wow. Look, I'm not saying don't listen to your coaches. But sometimes you got to go back to what works on the playground. Like my father always said, you can't defend a perfect pass. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, enough with the chit-chat. Let's go have some fun. All right. <laughs> How about we see what you can do when you stop thinking and start trusting your gut? Yes, sir. Relax. You can call me Dan. <laughs> okay, done. Jack sent me a tape on you, and the one thing I like is you seem to want to stay in the pocket. Oh, 
Best to let my arm do the talking, sir. Exactly, that's what I'm thinking. Anyway, let's have some fun. Hey, guys, let's bring it in. Are you guys good with a quick game of seven on seven? All right, let's go. First team to 21 wins. 15 yards for a first down, four seconds to get rid of the ball, and the quarterback can't cross the line of scrimmage. Get it? Hey, Gozer, am I playing defense? Sure, I think it'll be good for you to see the field from the safety spot. All right. All right, boys, here we go. All right, let's go out there and have some fun, all right? Let's do it. All right, guys, let's see if we can get it done. There we go. Hopefully we don't throw any incompletions. I don't always like the plays they pick though, that's the one thing. Oh, that was bad. Well, there's our one incompletion. Hopefully, I don't throw any more. I could have been picked. There we go. Touchdown. Nice touch, D. Now we're playing safety. Hopefully we can lock down. There we go. Oh, I thought I had it.
Okay, big stop right here. Let's do it. And we got it. Only one more stop. Oh, he caught that. Wow, what a catch. We got the stop we needed. Now this should be the final drive. Oh, uh, okay. Our second incompletion. I thought I was going to be able to get it over him. Come on, let's go. There we go, keep going. First and goal, let's get it. Q. 
can we end it on this play here? I'm going to go to Yates. A over the middle. Can he get open? He can. Boom. Yes. Nice throw. Wade takes it. Nice job, guys. See, I told you, just relax, have fun, let the game come to you. Yeah, I, I definitely felt more comfortable than I have in a long time. See, there's very few quarterbacks who are born with the talent that you have. All you have to remember is why you fell in love with the game. And that's going to be it for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to click that like button down below. Subscribe if you're new. And as always, I will see you in the next one.